went to a placement center that is now called the Refugees Center because uh, Moldova has reprofiled the ordinary placement centers for uh, disadvantaged groups uh, uh, to, to, to host the refugees. And so I went to visit one center also because it is our, uh, uh, our center that we are helping uh, with the wider work of Help Age on the Ground. I met with several families, but one touched me a lot because uh, there were three generations in this family. I met uh, with a younger woman who just gave birth to a girl, and uh, she in also had her mother of 93 years, and uh, sorry, her grandmother and her mother of 75 years. And so looking at these women, three women, three generations, I was thinking, oh my God, coming with uh, an older woman of 93 who probably lived through the war of 40, uh, Second World War, uh, I can imagine only what she can feel uh, again being in the war and suffering uh, again being in, in pain. And I saw that they are really stressed and uh, they uh, they were thinking about uh, their future and could not find an answer what to do next. And then another family that moved me, actually that was uh, a, a woman in her mid uh, 50s who had two already grown up children, one a second year university student and then another one is a, a student in the final form at school, a graduate actually. And she was so worried about them because they wanted to be back uh, uh, in Ukraine. They didn't want to come here. They wanted to be with friends. They closed up. They didn't want to speak. They were offended uh, that the mother brought them here. They wanted to stay. They wanted to support their friends. And it was heartbreaking to see these people. But, uh, days ago that everything was fine and there was peace in the country. They had a home, they had everything they needed, and now they suddenly don't have anything. And it is really very difficult to understand.